hi everyone welcome back to my channel so today is a very special video isms by josie asked if i would like to join in her halloween collab um every saturday she does a night at the improv and she goes through the comments um and you can put a word and then she'll put them in a wheel and spin the wheel and then it'll pick the um, word that she has to base the nails on and then you also have to pick like you'll say how many base colors if you have to use powder glitters chromes you know that type of thing so yes um she asked me if i'd like to join in and i said yes of course um it seemed like a little bit of a challenge but it it turned out to be so much fun i had so much fun doing this and there's so many amazing ladies joining in this collab so i'll be having all their names and their channels uh down below in the description so yes we had to do uh three nails and our word is moon um this is the little screenshot i took here moon from phyllis banks so yeah so our word is moon and we have to put a hol halloween twist on it and we have to do three nails and then we have three um, base colors. Sorry, my phone. I just cleaned it. I'm like, how did it get so dirty? <laughs> so we have three base colors that we have to use. So I'm choosing, or I chose Prodigy from Madame Glam, which is this black. And it's got like different color little glitters. Mostly like Halloween colors. Orange, purple. And then I picked Magical Times, which is this very beautiful, like a blue-gray I changed my mind and decided to go with Witch's Night. So I already have my three tips here and I'm going to go ahead and just apply some base coat to these nails and then I'm going to cure um, each nail or cure the nails for 30 seconds. So now I'm going to go in and paint each nail. Uh, with the three base colors, the first one I'm going to use is Magical Times. This very beautiful bluish gray. I absolutely love this color. I thought it would be a good color to use as a backdrop, you know, for a moon. And then the second nail is going to have Prodigy, that black that has different colored glitters in it. And then the last nail is going to have Witch's Night. This purple is gorgeous and I thought it was perfect for Halloween. Um, so one of the products that we have to use is powders. I'm going to use this bright yellow uh, pigment powder. And I'm going to make a moon um, at the top here, pretty much, pretty big up here. Uh, but first I'm gonna make the circle with the um, perfect white. All right, so what I decided to do was go in with the matte um, top coat. That way I could draw on it a little easier. So I'm just gonna be taking the uh, perfect white from Adam Glan. I'm just gonna be drawing a big circle. That's gonna be my moon. So yes, today um, all of us ladies in the collab are going to be showing our videos all day long. Um, Kiara Creations already started um, started us off. She was right before me. And then I'm going to have everybody linked down below and their time. So all day long we're going to have all these um, awesome videos coming to you all day today. So yes, I hope you guys enjoy. Like I said, it was a little bit of a challenge just trying to think up what I wanted to do and you know, you have to use the, you know, powders, glitters and you know, whatever different things. So, but yeah, I enjoyed it so much. It was so much fun and yeah, I just, I hope there's more collabs to come. Hope you guys enjoy. All right, so this is my little moon. No, it's not perfect, but I did the best I could. Uh, and I just filled it in um, the rest with the, you know, the rest of the white polish. I didn't want it to be, it didn't have to be perfect because I'm gonna go in now with the powders. I have not used these powders. Um, I have a whole kit 
of these. I think I got these off of Amazon. But yeah, look at all the beautiful colors. So yeah, I just thought I'd use this and I don't think they glow in the dark. I just put the jar up to the UV or my LED light and of course it glow, you know, the light made it glow but it actually doesn't glow in the dark because I put my hand over it. But yeah, these are kind of messy. Ah. So I'm just taking this little eyeshadow applicator and I'm just going to apply the pigment all over the white circle. Yeah, I was making such a mess. Oh my goodness. So I was trying to clean it up. I did end up cleaning it up pretty good, so. But yeah, it looks okay. I'm going to do stamping on it anyway. I mean, not covering the whole thing, but it should be, should be okay. So yeah, I'm just going to clean this up here. Okay. So yeah, my paper towel is a little dirty because I wanted to do some stamping. I wanted to do like a little graveyard, but then I wanted to put a tree. So I remembered um, I have to put the tree first in the background. So yeah, I'm just trying to see which tree I want to do. I kind of like this one because it's more full. Okay, I want to see if the silver will, will work for the tombstone. Okay, so I got the little tombstones down there, and then I want to put some of the little fence, and we're going to do that in black. So for the main part here, I want to do this little witch. I hope it sticks to the powder. Oh my gosh, look at that. <gasps> I freaking love it. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna add a bat up here too. Let me see. it I think I'm done I don't think I want to add anything else I actually think I want to do it matte all right so we're moving on to the second nail and our second product we have to use our glitters so yeah prodigy does have glitters in it but I'm gonna be using just Nikki's midnight stardust it's absolutely gorgeous all right so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roughen up the area where I'm gonna put the glitter and where I'm gonna draw the moon I'm gonna draw another moon on this nail so yeah I did put top coat on um, just in case 
you know, I didn't want to mess up the <laughs> polish. So yeah, I just buffed that area. And now I'm going to go in with the, um, I'm using the pat paint gel this time. That way it's a little bit more opaque. Because this one I'm going to leave white and then put some glitter. So yeah, I wanted to have a really kind of thick, opaque white. So this is the Pat Paint Gel from Born Pretty. So now I'm going in with this white holographic glitter and it does glow in the dark. Um, but yeah, I just thought it would look pretty on the moon and we do have to use glitter. So I just thought to do a glittery moon. So yeah, I still left the white um, paint wet. So I'm just going to sprinkle the glitter and then I lightly press the glitter into the paint. So now I'm using this Kaida glow in the dark top coat. I saw this on Phyllis Banks channel and it had an amazing glow so right away after her video I went ahead and, and ordered it and so yeah I just wanted to have the moon glow in the dark and yes I did go in and cure the after I put the glitter I did go in and cure that so it's not wet paint or anything and now I'm going to take the Madam Glam this is the uh, top coat that has a sticky layer after you cure it it's it's not the no wipe i wanted it to have a little bit of a sticky layer that way i could sprinkle the glitter but i didn't want it to be wet i don't know so yeah i just went ahead and put a layer of this where i wanted the glitter i cured it and then i'm gonna sprinkle this glitter it's gorgeous look at that yeah check out just nikki she's got her uh, small business she sells bracelets she sells glitters and look at this it's just absolutely gorgeous and definitely went with what I was going for so yeah I'm using my stamper to press in the glitter and it makes it flat so no glitter sticks up I really like doing doing it this way with the stamper so now I'm just going and putting some top coat and then we are going to do a nightmare before Christmas nail yeah I have this stamping plate here I got it on Amazon and so we're going to be doing the little hill and we're going to have Jack and Sally up there. So I'm using the dark gray um, stamping polish here. And I'm taking the characters off because for right now I just want the little hill, the little curly little hill. And then we're going to go on with black stamping polish and we're going to do Jack and Sally here. And a little bit of his head didn't transfer and I tried it like three times for some reason this part of his head. So I don't know if it was the stamping plate wasn't cut out enough. So I just went in and put some uh, black paint to fill in his head. But yeah, it looks super cute. And then yeah, on the cover of the movie they have little pumpkins down there. So I just decided to add some pumpkins to the bottom of the nail. And we're going to be doing them orange. So yeah, I'm just going to be randomly putting little pumpkins all around the bottom. And so now this is the last um, nail here and we do have to use gold flakes. So I'm going to incorporate some gold flakes in a little bit here. But first I'm going to take the purple nail and I just put a matte top coat on it. And I think I should have used the one that leaves the little bit of a tacky layer because, yeah, this stuff was flying everywhere. Oh, my God, it was such a mess. <laughs> but I basically wanted to do like a Halloween sky, my version of what, you know, what I would think a Halloween sky would look like. So I'm going to go in with this kind of yellowy orange and I'm going to fade it into the bright orange and then I'm going to leave the bottom purple. Because, you know, purple and orange are kind of like the Halloween colors to me. I don't know. I love purple and orange. 
so yeah i'm just gonna be trying to blend that like i said i'm not good very good with pigment powders i kind of like the pressed ones um better they're a little bit um not as messy to work with and they blend a little bit better for me so it does look kind of splotchy but i mean it looked fine because that's kind of the look i was going for so yeah for two days i tried to draw a crescent moon you guys it was so bad i even tried to copy like a stamp you know the design and it just was not coming out and so i decided to put this sticker on um, but you'll see what i do with the sticker because yeah literally two days oh my gosh i was getting so frustrated So yeah, what I do is I just go over the sticker with the black paint, uh, pat paint gel, and I'm just outlining it, and I'm gonna fill in that moon. I'm kind of cheating, but I, like I said, I just could not get the the shape right at all, and it was so frustrating. <laughs> so yeah, I kind of like the way, you know, just and it kind of gave me an idea of how I need to draw it for next time, you know, kind of tracing. So. Yeah, we'll see if I can do that again, but yeah, I just liked uh, doing it with the sticker here. All right, so the moon's all filled in, and so it, um, I did put a little bit of the top coat just so it has a sticky layer. And so I'm going to be putting the gold foils, just putting a little bit on the moon. I think it came out really cute. Oh, yes, I did go on with the sticky base from Maniology. It's the one that um, glows, or not glows, the one that air dries. So I put that just on the moon, and then I'm putting the little gold flakes. You do have to let that base coat dry for like 30 seconds. But yeah, it worked pretty good. But yeah, I like the way the gold looked on the moon. It looked cute. And so now I'm going with Magical Times, that really pretty gray that I did the first nail with. And we're going to make some gray clouds. I have a little mark that I was trying to cover up um, by the moon it got I don't know some of the pigment got scratched off so I was just going to put a little you always see like the moon with the little clouds by it so that's what I was going for to cover up that that little mistake and then I'm just going to be doing a couple more clouds just all over the nail and I'm using a dotting tool and it works really good with doing clouds with a dotting tool. And then I'm just going to be drawing some of the four pointed uh, little stars. I think I only draw two. Um, kind of right by the moon so I just take a little dotting tool just take a little dot of the polish and then I just use a little thin brush and just drag uh, the polish out you know from the four sides this one didn't come out the greatest it was a little bit crooked but it was fine. It still looked good. Once you put the mat on it, it kind of hides little mistakes. <laughs> All right, so I had to include a little ghost um, in the sky. So I'm just going to take this little ghost here. It is like on a little stick, I think. And I just take the stick, you know, stick part off just to leave the little ghost. Yeah, this paper I'm using is a sticky paper that came in a pad from Maniology, and that's what you use it for to take anything off your scraper. It's all sticky on one side, so that's what I've been using. But yeah, I think it looks so cute with the little ghost. 
And then I do go in and put just a couple little bats. I love the way it came out. So cute. All right, so I do go in and matte top coat this nail. Well, I did matte top coat, but then I'm putting the shiny one just on the moon so that the gold flakes can shine. Oh, yeah, I accidentally put my brush into the gray. I kept doing that, but... <laughs> but yeah, I love the way it looks with the gold flakes. All right, so these are the finished nails here, and I think they came out really cute. I really, like I said at first, I wasn't exactly sure what I was going to do, but as I went on, I kind of kept gathering ideas. So yeah, this is the first one with the little witch here, a little graveyard Halloween scene. And then we have the Nightmare Before Christmas. Look at that glitter, how pretty that is. Yeah, check out Just Nikki. Your glitters are just gorgeous. So yeah, I decided to do this one shiny since it has, mo you know, glitter on it. And then yeah, this is my little Halloween sky. Little gold flakes. And look at this glow. Oh my gosh, it's the white glitter. The white glitter glows blue. So yeah, that shine through the glow in the dark top coat. I absolutely love it. It looks so cute. But yes, thank you so much to our host, Josie. Um, isms by Josie for asking me to be a part of this. I had so much fun. Um, please check out her video. Her video is premiering tonight at 10 p.m. So yes, thank you so much. I appreciate it. And yes, like I said, we'll be playing our videos all day. So please check out everybody down in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed. I had so much fun and I absolutely love the way they came out. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time. Bye.